Welcome to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast, where you can learn and be inspired by real-world examples of how technology is transforming businesses and reshaping industries in a language everyone can understand. Here is your host, Neil C. Hughes. Welcome back, gang. How are you all doing? So much talk and news about the metaverse at the moment, from mortgages for virtual land, digital clothing, digital furniture for your online homes, and it goes on and on. So I wanted to take a deep dive into this subject and maybe try and demystify some of this technology that may or may not be a little overwhelming for you right now. Now, I recently discovered a company called Trace Network Labs, and they're creating an ecosystem that will allow an individual to create their own exclusive virtual space, live their lives, and roam freely across. And their aim is to enable the evolution of the luxury lifestyle for the metaverses, and all at a time where the boundaries between real and virtual continue to blur. But no spoilers, buckle up. And hold on tight as I beam your ears all the way to India today where Lokesh from Trace Networks is going to try and help us all understand what the future of the metaverse will look like. So a massive warm welcome to the show, Lokesh. Can you tell the listeners a little about who you are and what you do? Sure. So I am a CEO and co-founder of Trace Network Labs and uh, with Trace Network Labs, we are uh, enabling real-looking meta twins, which is your digital avatars and uh, lifestyle for them in metaverse, powered by NFTs and digital fashion. So our aim is to make you look good in metaverse and to simplify the journey of humans in, in metaverse by by building up bridges wherein uh, they can hop in from one metaverse to other metaverse easily or to attend various concerts, events, and different occasions. Well, making me look good in the metaverse, you've you, you won me right there with that line. But uh, if I was to take you back in time before the metaverse, before NFTs, and what was it that uh, put you on this path you're on today? Can you remember where your passion for technology came from? So honestly, I have been in the technology side from almost like more than a decade. Before jumping into this Web 3.0 space, I was primarily building up supply chain solutions for fashion industry for almost like 10 years, 12 years, and helping them to streamline their supply chain, helping them to have a seamless communication starting from their inception of design to like final delivery of orders, which is reaching to the retail stores. So I was helping these uh, global fashion brands to kind of set up their uh, supply chain and uh, on also helping them to collaborate with their, their factories and, and other trading partners using, using the cloud-based solution. Love that. And here in 2022, can you tell a little bit more about how the Trace Network Labs is creating this ecosystem? It's actually allowing an individual to create their own exclusive virtual space, live their lives and roam freely across. Because I know it's such a big space at the moment. I I was only reading before you came on the podcast today, uh, somebody's recently got a mortgage for land in the metaverse. But can you tell me a a little bit more about Trace Network Labs and what you're doing? First of all, let me tell you what exactly Trace Network, so how, how this whole idea of Trace Network Labs started. So it started with a simple thought that we uh, humans have already been living a second life in form of our virtual self in various spheres of life and activities such as games, concerts, meetings, and all. So all these are some form of metaverse. And so basically, it, like today, how we are using internet to get, to get access to some information or to collaborate with, with our f- uh, friends who are sitting in different geographies using Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And then we are uh, doing online shopping, everything what we are today doing on internet. It's a little bit like you are sitting outside the space and still exploring it with the uh, possible ways uh, using various uh, available websites. So... The, the aim was to make like this, oh, like we are spending almost like 10 to 14 hours a day uh, on on online and uh, we, we are living almost half of our day online. So the, the aim was to make this overall uh, experience more immersive. So anything which we are doing online, like um, 
using so social media and all that this can be transformed into a virtual space wherein the interaction can be more immersive wherein we can really feel like with whom we are talking it's just not a screen with with which we are interacting right now we are using zoom calls almost half a day to connect with our colleagues and all that so it, if it is in a 3d virtual space it can be more uh, a more immersive experience where we can see that whom we are actually chatting we can have a more closer interaction and it's it's much better way of uh, you know connecting with the other humans who are sitting in different geographies and similarly like how we are using uh, facebook instagram so this is something wherein we are just posting photos watching people doing certain stuff in their videos and this kind of stuff now if this is in metaverse it can be a much more better way of uh, interacting with these people so like metaverse is how we are exploring we we create avatars and then our avatar go, goes around the places wherein we can talk and see other people uh, the other metaverse residents so the the metaverse is actually a, a much more better way for creating this kind of interaction wherein you become part of that space rather than sitting outside and experiencing it so this is how this entire thought came into place and then we realized that the existing metaverses are a little bit not that suitable for people to start you know experiencing it so if you today look at any metaverse you first go go inside the metaverse you create your avatar which does not look like you and then you have limited option to dress up your avatar and then you can go around roam around in, in those places and this thing uh, is it's a story of every metaverse so every metaverse is an individual unit rather than they they should have been more connected so it this overall experience is not as great for everyone to start jumping onto the metaverse uh side to to kind of start using it so that's from where we started thinking of like how we can uh make this experience much better so from there we started thinking about like various possibilities and various products which we can bring via trace network labs offering so that it creates a much better experience for people so our first product is actually buddy which lets people to create their realistic looking avatar so if you see yourself in a place wherein you which exactly the face of the avatar looks like you so it's very much easy for other person to recognize you if i know you personally and both of our avatars are meeting in a metaverse so i should be able to recognize you right so that's the first problem in the existing metaverse space so if your faces are recognizable it gives you a pretty much confidence that you can go around and you can meet people and so it's much better to collaborate with the known faces and also the some unknown faces with whom you are going to get familiar and this buddy it's something wherein it is your meta twin actually it's your twin and this you will fall in love when you see yourself in that space and especially everyone uh, loves to look good so this body you can dress up with uh, with some nice clothing which you can buy from uh, our nft marketplace bling so bling is our second product which wherein all these global luxury brands they are coming up with their limited edition collection which is uh, exclusively for the metaverse population so basically all these uh, global brands uh, right now we have onboarded like almost 28 brands and these brands are creating wearable products wearable digital products which which are minted as nfts and will be sold from our bling nft marketplace so people who would be minting their buddy at avatars they would be able to buy the clothes from the brands they love so this bling nft marketplace will give them opportunity to to, to get their hands on or uh, various different brands and designer products which they can use to exercise their avatars and uh, since this is going to build them digital wardrobe for them so now their buddy they can choose their products from their uh, wardrobe and then they can accordingly choose it to go and attend any occasion in metaverse so the aim is that you are creating something wherein your buddy it it can be exercised depending on what occasion and event you are going to attend in metaverse so if you are going to attend a concert so accordingly you can choose your dresses if you are going to attend a, a say professional meeting so accordingly you should be able to choose your clothing and 
as i said before the biggest problem in the metaverse is, is right now is they are closed economy there is nothing which can go from outside and there is nothing they can people can take from the metaverse to any other metaverse so our products buddy and bling it is going to let people to you know easily uh, carry their avatars into any metaverse so our uh, nfts would comply the standards of these metaverse so that it can e- be easily rendered in those spaces so that's the biggest change of what we are trying to bring in this metaverse space that we are trying to connect each individual unit of metaverses so that it's easy for people to go in, into that space and also it's easy for them to carry their digital wardrobe also so that they can easily pick the dresses they want to wear depending on the occasion so these are the two products and coming to the third product like which you were, uh, were referring about the own exclusive space so our third product is metabox which is like a, a ready made apartment so today in the metaverses you can buy virtual land and then you have to build up your house or anything on top of it so what trace network labs is offering it's it's wherein user can create and customize their own luxurious real estate in metaverse so it's like ready made apartment which you can accessorize by buying various lifestyle products like paintings or sofa set or any required stuff from bling nft marketplace and then you can start using it for calling other family family members or for professional meetings wherein you can call avatars of those uh, people in that space and you can have uh, much better collaboration so this is our uh, product which will let individuals as well as brands to kind of create a space for for collaboration so like brands they they can use this space to create their virtual stores if you have recently heard about h&m so h&m has opened a virtual store in one of the metaverse to let the people create to let the people experience their products they can try their products on their avatars and then make a decision whether they like it or not so the same kind of thing uh, these brands can uh, use our meta box to create a virtual store wherein they can invite metaverse population meta uh, the avatars to come and to try their their products and then make a decision whether they want to buy it or not so yeah so this is how we are trying to kind of create a one complete one single met- metaverse starting from creating your realistic looking body which can then accessorize their body by buying the uh, digital wearables from these luxury and uh, premium brands and uh, then they can go and interact with uh, any of the metaverse or they can use their own meta box to invite other people to come and have a collaboration it's incredibly cool and i'm conscious that we will have a lot of older people listening that maybe still trying to get their head around the metaverse and thinking about owning a virtual home, virtual clothes before going to a virtual shopping mall and even attending a virtual concert will be completely blowing their mind. But I know it is such a huge space at the moment and some of those uh, figures of people watching the virtual concerts is just incredible. But uh, do you think the boundaries between real and virtual will continue to blur as the momentum around the metaverse gathers? See, if you currently look at like how uh, our lives have been and have has, has been changed with the internet in last a decade. So uh, like I, I can recall like 10 years before I was not so much using my laptop or other device i was not so much dependent on internet things got changed w- once we we have some evolution in the space wherein people start building uh, social collaboration uh, platforms like facebook instagram and twitter and similarly we started getting e- e-commerce website wherein brands started coming and selling their products so things got changed right so the next evolution part is wherein the same thing which we have been doing in 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 a web 2.0 world wherein we were doing looking at the screen now in the metaverse it's only going to change how we are interacting with the same stuff for the same reasons if today we would be doing any shopping on metaverse it would be much more it's going to be more time saving also and it's going to be much more uh, better experience so today if you are ordering anything from any e-commerce website so you order something you you try it on and if it does not fit you or you don't like the like the look of the product on your body then you return it back right so in metaverse you again would be doing the same stuff but in this case you would 
be getting an opportunity to, to try on the clothes on your body on your avatar and then you will be able to make decisions so it's going to i think save some time also and uh, and overall yes we will be more and more dependent on metaverse for various kind of uh, similar experiences but i think there will be a time when uh, people yes would be uh, spending a lot of time on metaverse but then it's it's it happens with every technology suddenly there is a lot of traction towards the new thing coming but then people find a balance so i think it's going to be metaverse is going to be part of our life we will be a lot of dependent on it but still people would be keeping a balance in the real life and the metaverse life do you think technology will continue to change and influence fashion by that i mean both online and offline do you, do you see that happening as well yes uh, for sure the technology is also going to impact the fashion side of it uh and not just fashion but it's like anything uh, how we are interacting in the physical world so it's going to change and uh, especially uh, when it comes to metaverse with the advent of web 3.0 technology on blockchain it's going to be it's going to be much more uh, you know change in the way how we we have been the businesses have been the fashion businesses have been doing or uh, creating stuff for the people so now since our entire life will be on two two platforms one is real world and other one is the virtual world so i think it will be an opportunity for for the fashion world also to to kind of try building up some thing which goes uh, both for the virtual life also and for the real life so technology is definitely going to help them to kind of evolve how they have been working so far since it's a new world new civilization getting settled a digital civilization getting settled on metaverse so for them it's going to be completely new space to explore uh, and to capture the market to cater the needs of uh, metaverse population incredibly cool it really is and what do you think we can expect from the convergence of blockchain and fashion is there anything you're seeing around if i just take you a little back a uh, fashion industry is one of those industry which has been operating using legacy systems and if you observe closely the fashion industry is right now ready to get disrupted by technology this way integration of blockchain tech is merely a part of evolution so basically the entire luxury fashion and lifestyle market is going to be more inclusive uh, as the technology will be more accessible to them at this point of time if i look at the current problems the major problems which fashion industry is facing it's with the counterfeit products and i think it's the same thing which i have been hearing and experiencing from last almost more than a decade that this is a problem which they are not able to fix but with the blockchain technology now it's becoming a lot of it's it's bringing lot hop for these fashion brands that they will be able to control this kind of counterfeit challenges reason being because with blockchain they will be able to collaborate with their with their factories with their other trading partners and everything every moment will be on chain and the best part of the blockchain technology is the nfts every product every product every single skew of product can be nftized and uh, when we are giving when we are giving order to a factory so every product will get an nft number and once the production is completed the en- entire movement of products can be tracked with the nft and blockchain so one would get to know from the from the nft itself that what has been the journey of product is this the real product coming directly from the brand or it's a duplicate product it's going to really help brands as well as people who, who wants to get hold of these these real products it's going to help both sides and blockchain is definitely it's it's something a very promising technology which right now i can see because i i'm build, building something on blockchain with the nfts for the fashion industry so it looks the major headache of counterfeit and and this black market is going to be solved the the real time tra- uh, traceable supply chain with nft enabled digital identification coupled with smart contracts powered on smart on chain settlements can uh, completely derail the black market so i feel that it's going to be a perfect uh, convergence and it's a need at this point of time that fashion industry would be uh, able to use something which is going to solve their uh, decade long problem and how do you think nfts alone have and, and will continue to revol- revolutionize the fashion industry because again nft is such a, a big topic right now 
Well, okay. One of the use cases, as I already told you about NFTs, that how it's going to uh, help in controlling the counterfeit product yeah. and uh, will help them to know that what's the journey of the product. Apart from that, I think NFT would be used in lot many ways by the fashion industry. At this point of time, if we see only few players of fashion industry, which are only luxury brands, have started exploring the use of N for various purposes. Majorly, they they are using it for creating collectibles, their product collectibles, which are being sold on various NFT marketplaces. And also, some brands have tried exploring creation of digital wearables, also uh, which can be worn on avatars. But these are only sold in specific metaverses. So, which means the people can buy them and use them only in those metaverses. So, if I just look at the future, how, that how NFTs can will revolutionize the fashion industry. The NFTs can be used by these brands to create a, a more effective monetizing structure, wherein the brands will be using NFTs to to create a kind of very elite club, wherein only the NFT holders will get certain benefits and discounts, so that they, by this way they will be able to create more loyal customer base. Second, NFTs can be used by these brands in a way wherein the digital variables can be sold as NFTs. In, in future, even these NFTs can be for the digital products. Digital product means wherein your product is digital plus it can be claimed in the physical world. So if you are buying anything in the, in, in let's say in, in Metaverse shopping, you bought a digital product NFT. So using that NFT, you will be able to claim the physical product from one of the brand stores. So this is also one way like how NFT can be used. And most importantly, at this point of time, when we are even talking to the, the overall, the, how even the businesses have started thinking that if they are using a technology to create a market, to create new revenue streams. They are also thinking of ways how they can help the their community also, their loyal customer base also to, to get monetized with that. Like, for example, let's say you bought a limited edition jacket from Gucci. So if you will be able to say rent it to other Metaverse resident or any other person for, you know, so if let's say you are not using that product at this point of time, so you can rent it out. So that's going to create some revenue for you also as a person who bought the product from the brand. And there are there can be multiple other use cases like some brands with whom we are collaborating. So these brands are saying that people who will be holding our initial NFTs will be able to participate in their various fashion shows. So it's like we... Every day we, we are having different thoughts in mind that how NFTs can be used and especially for the fashion industry to revolutionize the way that how they, they have been working. So, yeah. Awesome. And I suspect that you do get to speak to a, a lot of people that maybe are a little bit suspicious or they just don't get it and you have to win them over. And that could be people, businesses, brands and so many different others. But when, you ha when you're speaking to those people that don't see the value in the metaverse at the moment because they just cannot see the vision that you can, can you tell me a little bit more about how you sell it to them and the po the potential to change the way people are able to connect with others and express themselves. You are right. At this point of time, there is a mix mixed thought. So there are people who who really don't understand that how they will be able to use metaverse, and uh, there are people who are really excited about it. So I would say that the like the the young generation, which which is already using some form of games, they they are playing games. So there, they know in those games, they have to buy various stuff like skins within the game. So they buy various products within the games. So they know how this metaverse thing works. And the evolution of this metaverse is it's a two stage thing. One is wherein the metaverse is not just going to be limited only to games but it is going to be more of a social collaboration platform also, wherein it is going to be new form of uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. So the, so it's going to be like something wherein we, what we are already doing, we, the same thing we will be able to do in a more immersive way. And second thing is at this point of time, like, people uh, also don't understand one thing that most of the technologies and uh, platforms which they are using are being owned by some centralized powers and wherein decisions are being taken by a handful of people. 
So the metaverses which are getting built up at this point of time, it's using Web 3.0 technology wherein everything is decentralized, where the power comes in the hand of people. So if today you are using a metaverse, you bought something over there, it comes as an NFT to you in your wallet. So if tomorrow that metaverse does not stay, so still you will be holding all that stuff within with, with yourself. So this is how the uh, overall it's changed and the overall uh, way of how we have been interacting with the internet has been changing. So all those things which we are right now doing in, in Web 2.0, wherein we are interacting with just a simple laptop or mobile screen just to explore those things, it's going to be more immersive. So once people would see their uh, digital twin, which exactly look like them, but it can be more enhanced it can look more better. So it's it's definitely going to create a emotion with their own digital identity, which is going to be in Metaverse. Right now, it's just uh, their image, just few videos which they are uploading, but it's going to be something wherein they are going to be part of that virtual space, wherein they will be able to do a lot many stuff. Like I'm just giving a basic example. Today, uh, I am not, I am willing to, but I'm not able to visit anywhere outside my limited area because of various restrictions, travel restrictions. What if I get an opportunity to, to be in a place which I love to be? Let's say I want to be in Paris. So Metaverse would allow you to, to, to come and teleport in a space wherein you want to be. It's, it's a limitless space wherein the whatever you can think of, imagine, can happen over there. So I think this is going to be changing in soon time wherein the journey of people to enter into metaverse and then start exploring it becomes easier. I think it, the, this kind of restriction and reluctance which people are having to explore metaverse will go. So that's what I feel at this point of time. Wow. And it sounds like if, as we go to the future, there's going to be a lot of opportunities for consumers and brands alike, right? That's for sure. That's for sure. And we have just started. Yeah. There's a lot more. This space is going to evolve a lot more in, in a ways which we are not able to think at this point of time, but it's going to be, our lives are going to be more in metaverse, I can see. Well, I wish you the best of luck on your journey. I'm going to be following you guys very closely, see how things continue to evolve. Like you said, it is very early on, but I'm interested in how it all begins to take shape. But we started the podcast talking about your origin story. I'm now going to ask you, what has inspired you in your tech career? Is there a song, piece of music, a movie or a book or, or anything that has helped inspire you that you can pass down to everyone listening uh, and leave them on an inspirational note today? Honestly speaking, it's my journey. When I started working in my career with these brands, every day I was like, I was facing some new problems, new challenges. And then I kind of developed, it's like developing attitude wherein you find some problem and then you start sol solving it. And technology, it's a blessing for everyone that using technology, we, we could solve almost every problem. The way how we have been uh, interacting with technology, it has changed a lot and it's going to change a lot. So in, in my life, my, my interaction with the different businesses, different people and different situations has actually made me uh, more inclined towards technology and using it to, to solve bigger problems. So it's not a movie, it's not a, a song, but it's it's more the, the real situations which I have gone through that has motivated me to, to use technology for a bigger cause. And for anyone listening that would like to find out more information about Trace Network Labs or anything that we've talked about today, join your community or contact your team. What's the best starting point for everything? Well, for 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 checking out our, our uh, Trace Network Labs, you can visit on, on, on our website. It's trace.network. And uh, if you have any questions or any anything in your mind which you want to discuss, then you can drop me a message on my Twitter handle. It's at the rate Rao Lokesh underscore TN. Well, I wish you the best of luck on your mission at creating an ecosystem that is allowing individuals to create their own exclusive virtual space, live lives, and, and roam freely across. It's going to be interesting how it all takes shape. And I love the vision that you've got here in creating this. And also how the, the blurred lines between online and offline are beginning to disappear almost. It's incredibly cool what's happening here. But thank you so much for taking the time to share your story and that mission with me today. I appreciate it. 
thank you so much uh, for having me here and to to discuss about the future like how the future is going to be with the metaverse and how we are going to change uh, the way how people are interacting with the existing form of metaverse and how it's going to be much better in coming time thank you so much for this opportunity we covered a lot there, didn't we? From how technology has changed and influenced fashion over the years, what we might be able to expect from the convergence of blockchain and fashion and the metaverse and what that means for customers and brands alike and how it could change the way people are able to connect with others and express themselves through clothing, accessories, etc. But it's such a huge topic right now. So what do you think? Do you get it now? Do you have any reservations or are you fully signed up and excited about the future? I want to hear all viewpoints. So please email me, techblogwriteroutlook.com. Connect with me on LinkedIn at Neil C. Hughes. Let me know your thoughts and we'll carry on this conversation. But that's it for today. So I'll be back bright and early tomorrow, ready to speak directly into your earballs in a non-creepy way. But a big thank you for listening. And until next time. Don't be a stranger. Thank you for listening to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast with Neil C. Hughes. Remember, technology works best when it brings people together.